minutes, and we are now down to the final 20, and three of them, Ariel Lowen, Emma Lawson, and Laura Horvath, are all hoping to wind up on the podium here at the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games. We are glad you are with us, everybody, as we close out the final day of competition here in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm Sean Woodland with the second fittest woman in the 35 to 39 year old division, Stacey Tobar. And Nikki Brazer is down on the competition floor. You heard Dave and Tommy talking about Laura Horvath and what a Sunday she has had. She has been perfect through two tests. Laura said it herself, Sunday was her favorite day and she's proving that to be true. The only athlete to win all events on Sunday is the man, the myth, the legend, Rich Groening. And he did that twice in 2013 and 14. However, Laura Horvath had 11th game test wins, fifth win in the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games, and this ties Sam Briggs for all time individual women. Sam Briggs, one of the most dominant individual athletes in the history of the CrossFit Games, the fittest woman on earth in 2013. So that's a great company for Laura Horvath right now with 881 points. She has a 22 point lead on Emma Lawson. Ariel Lowen has the final spot on the podium right now. Let's go down to the floor for the athlete intros. and two-time CrossFit Games individual athlete, Paige Powers. Next up, we have 10-time CrossFit Games athlete, two-time CrossFit Games champion, Tetran Davis' daughter. In eighth place, welcome five-time CrossFit Games athlete, Danielle Brandon. Please help me welcome the 2019 CrossFit Games teenage champion, Two-time CrossFit Games individual athlete, Emma Carey. In sixth place, welcome your European semifinal winner and five-time CrossFit Games athlete, Gabriella Magala. In fifth place, welcome two-time CrossFit Games athlete, Alexis Rufus. In fourth place in your North American West semifinal champion, Alex Gazan. She currently sits third overall. Welcome three-time CrossFit Games athlete, Ariel Lowen. Currently sitting, sitting in second position, please welcome your 2022 Rookie of the Year, Emma Lawson. For your first place athlete coming into the finale, six-time CrossFit Games athlete, three-time podium finisher, Laura Horvath! Ten women here in this second and final heat. Laura Horvath will be in lane number five, and you heard Tommy say that once they hit the competition floor, the, those expressions are going to change. And Laura Horvath looks like she is on a mission here. S12, it's the echo thruster, and everyone hates thrusters. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts really bad for time. 21, 18, 15, echo bike calories and thrusters. Starts it with an 85 pound bar and goes up to 105 pounds. Then they take that 105 pound bar and they lunge overhead with it, 66 feet on the floor. Recipe for success is delivered by Trifecta. What are you watching for? The claws are gonna come out, Sean. It's time to get primal. And if you want it, you gotta go get it, man. It's up to you. Lay it out there. There is a little hole about. Both can be crowned fittest woman on earth, Emma Lawson. Can still catch her here in this final test. Lawson just 22 points out. Low in lane four, 48 points out. 21 calories here on the bike. Keep your eye on the top of the screen. The leader's name in the heat will be on the far left. The number of reps or calories that, that athlete has completed will be in the white box. All the other white boxes will indicate 
how far behind the leader that athlete is currently. This bike is beefy. This Rogue Echo bike takes legs, it takes arms, and it takes about three key hopes, arms and legs, for even one calorie to take on that bike. Right now, Emma Lawson on the right side is your leader. She's through 14 of those initial 21 calories. There are 119 total sport repetitions in this test, and Lawson's judge's hand is in the air for signifying that she is just about done. Captain Davis, though, a former two-time champion, sits in second. Oh, we're about starting to gain a little ground right now as Davis now is about half a calorie ahead of Emma Lawson. And Emma Lawson and Davis are off at the same time. And now here comes Laura Horvath. This is an 85 pound bar, Sean. A thruster is a squat below parallel, followed by a thrust and a press out up overhead. Emma Lawson has a 22-point deficit. She's got to make up on Laura Horvath, which means she would have to get a couple people between herself and Laura in order to make up that deficit in one test. And this is the final test. There is no tomorrow for Emma Lawson. Laura Horvath just needs to finish in fifth place or better, and there's nothing anybody else can do. The time to beat is 722.25 seconds from Olivia Kirsten. And you better believe the lady in the white sports bra there knows exactly what she needs to do to get on top of that podium today, Sean. What about and David Zutter? At the top of your screen is Catherine David Zutter to the fight. About the same time, 18 calories here. They got to get to the 60 rep mark. See Catherine David Zutter there in the blue sports bra, blue shorts, just kind of pushing down on those handles, pressing through the full foot on the pedal. on the far right side of your screen. It's fallen off the lead pacer, but not by much. Only a couple of calories behind. Oh, hold on, who is now in the lead. Again, the 60 rep mark. They'll move on to the next barbell that weighs 95 pounds and complete 18 more thrusters. Just about done now with those 18 calories. She has stood on the podium three times in her career, twice in second place, including her rookie year in 2018. And last year, she put on a frantic charge on the final day to finish in third place overall. She has already won the first two tests today. And now Emma Carey on the left side of your screen has moved into second behind Laura Horvath. 18 thrusters, 95 pounds on this Rogue C70 bar, which is a shorter bar, so it compresses the weight, ultimately making it feel slightly heavier than a normal 35 pound women's bar would. It's a squat below parallel, followed by an aggressive thrust of the hips to finally press and lock the barbell up overhead. You talk about leg. You talk about hips, you talk about arms, you also talk about core. Core to extremity, a foundational movement here in CrossFit. And now Laura Horvath onto the bike for the final time. She's got 15 more calories to complete. Get your official 2023 Noble CrossFit Games gear and score a bonus gift and purchase. Scan the QR code to redeem a few terms and conditions. And let's not forget, Laura Horvath closed out day number three with a win. If she holds on to this, this could be four in a row. Sean, she won the pig chipper. She won the ski bag. She won the Ovi total last night. She won the muscle up bag this morning. She won the parallel bar pull. Now, if you're wondering what the most consecutive wins for a woman is, it's Tia Tui back in 2020 who won five straight. the sixth time for this woman on earth. She's taking this season off. To start a family. They're going to be back next year. But right now, Flo Horvath, who is three calories away, and heading to the barbell for the final time. And Emma Carey is not going to make it easier on her. Emma Carey is now done, and she will be first to the barbell. And Emma Carey here, down in lane number two. 
two, bottom left side of your screen, has actually had the fastest splits of the field when it comes to the barbell. Cycling it at least two seconds faster than the next gal. And on Horvath, exactly that, two seconds. Every second matters in this sport, Sean, this we know. Top two women on the screen are now Laura Horvath this manager take a lead from Emma Carey. 108 reps is the mark they got to hit. Horvath's going to take a break. Now, this is fine because Emma Carey is not factoring into the championship race here. Horvath just has to stay close to Emma Lawson. And Emma Lawson now on the right side of your screen just getting to the barbell here. Lawson in fifth place right now in the heat. Horvath knows that there's a 66-foot lunge overhead ahead of her. I think that was a strategic move, just taking a moment, taking a little bit of a breath, relaxing the legs, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the core. Horvath just closed out in second. She's going to have to get that ball up back overhead to lunge it down. And again, no need for her to hurry because she is ahead of Emma Lawson. She's looking around. Lawson on the right is still working on her final set of thrusters. Now, Laura Horvath has the barbell overhead. Emma Carey and Katherine Davis down the top of your screen are working their way down the floor. And this could be a lunge to the top of the podium for Laura Horvath. Davis Zotter and Carey are fighting for the test win here, but Laura Horvath is starting to gain ground. Gabby McGowan is out there as well. Davis Daughter's in the lead. Now here comes Laura Horvath trying to move into second. But that's not the race that matters. She is going to win the one that does. Laura Horvath has spent time training at CrossFit Krypton in Virginia. But today, the woman from Hungary is Superwoman. Laura Horvath is the fittest woman on earth. Seconds good enough for third place in the heat, fourth in the test, and the top of the CrossFit Games podium. As the rest of the women are working on their final lunges here, as Danielle Brandon is across. Emma Lawson is in. She's looking to keep herself on the podium. Ariel Lowen is now done. And she will probably wind up with a medal around her neck. Alexis Raptus, who at one point was the overall leader, is in. Alex Kazan. The last woman out on the floor. Captain Davis Jordan is going to win the test. 7.33.41 seconds for her. 14th career win for Davis Jordan is Kazan. Is now done. Search of the fight of the fittest is over. And it's that woman, Laura Horvath. First time in her career. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the fittest woman on earth, Laura Horvath.
Laura, you have stood on the podium before, but never in this position. What does it mean to you to finally have broken through and stand atop the podium? It feels very, very good. It feels all my hard work has paid off throughout the years I've been doing CrossFit. And I'm just very happy. As the fittest woman on earth, you are a role model for athletes, for women, and especially for young girls looking at the sport who want to prove what they can do mentally and physically. How does it feel to you to be a role model for all of them? It's a little pressure, but <laughs> I'm just very happy that me and my body can do this, and I'm not looking at the new Barbie movie. Oh, I want to look like that. I want to look like what I look like. And I, I just want to prove that my body, whatever it looks like, can do these amazing things and move things from A to B and run fast and lift heavy and all those things. And I'm just very excited that fem little girls and also teenagers look up to all these amazing girls that are here because our bodies are not us, we are what inside. And it's amazing what our bodies can do if you put the work in. We are closing out our time here in Madison. What kind of memories have you made here at the Alliant Energy Center? This was my first ever CrossFit Games in 2018, was in Madison, Wisconsin. So this city holds a very special heart, uh, place in my heart, because this was my first UK year. This was, I made amazing friends with competitors. This were, my parents came to cheer me on, and this is where I became the fittest on earth. So this city will definitely hold very special in my heart. Congratulations to the fittest on earth, Laura Horvath. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. with her yeah. friend and training partner, Gabby Magawa. Two of them work out together and train together throughout the year. But what a week for Laurel Horvath. She only had one finish lower than 15th. That was on day number one in the inverted medley. She was never lower than ninth in the overall standings and came out and absolutely dominated today. Had a ton of momentum. And she rode all the way to the top of the podium. with the only total on Saturday night, taking first. She went to bed with just a little bit of confidence, and that's all this chick needed to finish strong in the end, taking first in the muscle up log, first in the parallel bar pull, and then dominating here in this test number 12, first in the Echo Thruster final. Horvath found the finish woman on earth for the first time in her career. Sitting down the Nikki Brazier with the two women who will join her 